Hi there, Callum from Badminton South Australia here. This morning I'm here at the Para Badminton Come and Try at Lockleys. This morning we're going to chat with a few of the players and coaches so that they can share their experience about Para Badminton as it's one of the fastest growing sectors in our sport. Uh, my name is Ian Bridge, I'm the National Para Badminton Coach in Australia. Um, and Para Badminton I've been involved with for the last five years. The sport, um, particularly over the last four years, has grown massively worldwide particularly since it got announced it was in the Tokyo 2020 Paralympics. Uh, from an Australian perspective, we've seen the sport grow in a number of states now, and this weekend I'm over in Adelaide, where we've um, had a number of our female um, players uh, at a training camp, and we're also doing a come and try promotion day up in Lockleys in Adelaide, um, which is used for obviously encouraging. For the players are enormous. A, gives them a sense of achievement, um, gives them a purpose, and for many, gives them a new direction in their life from there and just looking out this morning and just watching them smiling and enjoying themselves. It's really fulfilling and rewarding for people like myself who try and help others uh, along their pathway. Um, so within Australia, now we've got a pathway as well, so it's about playing socially, but also um, for those that have got that competitive edge, uh, there is now a uh, pathway for them all the way to the top, as I mentioned earlier, um, to the Paralympics from there. Uh, we've just held uh, Oceania Paralympic Championships in Victoria last month and they were a great success and we had over 20 Australians competing in that and many of them won a number of titles. Um, the most pleasing thing was actually very much like a family. Um, uh, we got a real tight knit group and obviously what we're looking to do over this year is see the sport grow um, with new players. Um, g'day, my name is Ryan Kinner, um, 23 years old. I've got uh, cerebral palsy. Uh, I play in the XL4 category. So originally I was playing Paralympic soccer. Um, I played that for several years and played for the Paroos. I was getting interested in swimming the Para Badminton and once it became a Paralympic sport, the APC um, got in contact with myself and yeah, I made the transition over to Para Badminton. I've been been to uh, the World Champs in 2017 in Korea, we did two battles and uh, some national competitions. So yeah, Para Badminton, uh, it's great for myself and great for all the other guys involved, you know, to be, um, you know, inclusive sport, um, you know, coming together with everyone else with disability and, um, you know, look at that level sort of playing furious. You know, great socially, great for your fitness, um, your well-being. Um, yeah, Paralympic sport in general. Um, it's great for you. Hi, my name is Tim Dorn. I am a SL4, which is lower limb disability. Um, I've been playing that for for more than ten years. Um, play socially, but at the same time, I play. Um, in able competition on Wednesday night. Um, I've only recently started to become involved in the para badminton side of uh, aspect of badminton, which was really great. And that's only when I've only recently started to um, heard about it from Richard Davis. Um, and then I get in contact with Neil Dunson, who is the organiser for um, Badminton South Australian Para Badminton players. Um, so far, I've been silver in Oceania um, competitions, which uh, happened in Ballarat a couple of weeks ago. Um, and the Australian coach also mentions that I'm now um, well. Hi everyone, my name is Amanda Jampon. I'm 25 years old, I'm from Sydney. And my classification for Pala Badminton is SL3, which means I've lost my leg about me. I have been playing badminton for a year now. I would like to say thank you to uh, Pala Badminton Australia to give me the opportunity to play badminton. Hi, it's Richard. I'm a a badminton player for SA. I'm a wheelchair player, classification of uh, WH1. 
and uh, I've been playing now for a, a close to three years. Uh, started off, uh, you know, met uh, the Parabans and coach uh, Michelle Powell uh, you know, back at a uh, Paralympic event, and you know just sort of decided to come out and uh, give it a try. So. So I played for about three years. I've uh, competed in a couple of internationals, one in Australia and one in Tokyo. Uh, I've also competed in two uh, Oceania tournaments uh, where I've won, I won gold for men's singles and doubles and then just recently I won silver for singles and doubles. I've also competed in a couple of nationals events and uh, got uh, runner-up for singles and doubles in the last nationals last year and uh, looking to hopefully um, you know, build on that for the national tournament coming up in July over in Melbourne. Thank you very much for watching this video. Uh, for me it was a great experience getting to play some wheelchair badminton today with Richie Davis. Really puts life into perspective. I'd also like to thank the Glenelg Badminton Club for offering us two courts to run our come and try session. And I'd also like to thank the players who have come from interstate um, to attend the training camp as well as participate in the session this morning. So thank you very much for watching this video. I think this video shows how important para badminton is to our sport and I hope it continues to grow in the future.